Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, I am back with another episodic Let's Play. It's been a little while since I did my last one, but if you do remember in the very last episode, I completed the very first episodic quest, which is comprised of three different missions, and it wrapped up with us fighting a Seragios on a boat. So I'm now going to move on to episodic quest number two, which came in the second DLC pack, and we're then going to see what we have to do this time. So just as a recap, what you want to do first is you want to go over to your housekeeper, and you then want to scroll down to where it says episode selection. We then pick code 16010, and then we can get started. So if we then make our way to the gathering hall, we can see that the very first person we need to speak to is the Felco, this little cat sitting on a barrel bomb. So, let's see what we've got to do. Alright, so, I've got to go and select bonus code purple, and I have to go and fight a Yangaruga. Alright, let's do this. Mr. Yangaruga, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Let's go. I bought, uh, I'm actually using a new set this time, so you guys will, uh, I'm going to do a video on this uh, later on this week. Not particularly the, um, it's not really... The weapon that's new is more the uh, the armor set, so I'll show you guys that later on. Because you know, I can sort of see some different mix sets and whatnot. Let's see if we can get this uh, ultra up in time. Whoa. Ideally, before I put him to sleep, that's uh, that's always the right the race. Is can I can I grab my ultra in time before he falls asleep so I can do the, the damage I want? Although I have actually got some bombs, so the first time I put him to sleep, I'm going to try and do that to to go for the. Uh, the three times damage instead of the two. I do really enjoy doing these episodic quests though, because it's um, it's kind of sort of like you know I said this before in the previous one, but it's like getting to fight monsters in sort of environments you wouldn't necessarily normally fight them. I mean, obviously fighting a Seragos on a boat is a prime example of that. Um, you know, obviously they're not all that crazy, and if you guys have saw the last one, there we go, he's asleep. If you guys saw the last one, then you know that we started off by fighting a um by sort of just gathering some things from the Melinxes and then obviously gathering bugs from the back of his Noga. So those ones weren't particularly interesting. Um, but, you know, fighting Seragos on a boat where normally all you do is fight a uh, Dara Maran from a boat is actually a really, really cool thing. So, um, yeah, definitely some... Definitely do get to experience some different things, different sort of sides of Monster Hunter. There we go. I've also got Evasion on this armor in case you guys are wondering, which makes that a little bit easier. This one's got Evasion plus two, whereas my uh, Sword and Shield one's actually got Evasion plus one, which is... Enough to do, you know, what I needed to do. Whoa, let's try and avoid that. I don't really want to get hit by its tail. And let's go from here. I have one bomb left, so I'll uh, probably do the, the bomb um, combo afterwards. Oh, no. The bomb ultra combo. Let's uh, use all of our items to our fullest ability. May as well, while it's here. He's going to trip me over, isn't he? Yep. Oh, no. No, he's going to land there. That'll do. Boom. Won't like that at all. There we go. His face broken. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Impressive performance, Hunter, but this is not a circus show. What? Okay, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> he's like, don't fool around. I'm not fooling around. I was trying to do the damage. This cat giving me lip. You give me the quest, I'll complete it however I want. I'll have you know this. Uh, good job, I also bought some antidotes. Always carry antidotes, even if you're not fighting poison monster, because you never know, they're just useful to have anyway. There might be a sneaky remover in the background, just trying to sort of mess up your day. Oh, that might happen. It's also entirely possible that I uh, might not have looked at my item box before I went out, so I'm running a little bit low on uh, mega potions, so, you know, if you guys are ever. Hunty out, do make sure you kind of fill up your box before you go out, but you know. Anyway, that's what I'm after. Trip him up. Shouldn't be too much trouble anyway, this is a high rank one for now. The, uh, some of the, the newer episodic quests are really cool, because you know, they do actually go, they do actually kind of stem into G rank, which is really nice, so they, they do get more challenging. I have actually had a chance to do a couple of the later ones, even though I've been sort of like working through these systematically, uh, when I've been doing sort of like some of the streams on the weekend, I know some people have been sort of putting up some episodic quests, so... Uh, also, if you do want to unlock, as you've seen from like the Gold Raytheon video, if you do want to unlock Gold Raytheon, you do need to do a couple of the story missions. Uh, story missions? Sorry, episodic missions. So, you obviously do want to watch out for that one. Do be careful. Whoa. And as I've said before, trying to talk and hunt at the same time is really not the easiest thing. It's hard enough doing it on stream, but when you're trying to do it for a video, and you're trying to sort of like, whoa, keep check of everything at the same time, it can get a bit chaotic, but we'll see.
make my life a little bit easier, but I want to see if I can try and get another sleep before I decide to let him move. That'll do. Oh, no. Hopefully I can get the super before it wakes up. Yes. That was lucky. That was lucky. It's placed on the bomb and uh, try and do this at the same time. See if we can get the KO as well. Uh, I think it was a little bit too far away. I think I might mess that one up. We'll see. No, that was alright. Except I was a little bit too close because the bomb and me and whatnot. So I might not be able to get better in time, but we'll see. Yeah, I didn't get to take full advantage of that, but, you know, I think I should have done some nice damage to him. Trying to avoid that tail as well. I should probably heal a little bit. Board that tail whip, then we should be. Oh, yeah, there we go, knocking out this guy. Cool, right. Yeah, now I should probably try and sort this antidote though. He's uh, he's not happy with me, but at least he's asleep, which is really handy. <laughs> now you decide to fall asleep. Of all the times you could have gone to sleep, but it's fine. It's fine. Nearly there. I'm gonna use the time to sharpen as well, and then we should be able to finish the job. Unfortunately, I don't actually have my, my ultra right now, so I'm just going to try and go in for the hit. But we'll, uh, at least we've got the charge hit off, which does a little bit more. Ouch. I was hoping I could try and time that a little bit better, but we should be good. Grab that on his tail. A couple of them should be good. And then if we can probably get one more hit, I think we should be good. Oi, he didn't like that one. Definitely not. Oh, yeah. That's how you can tell. Oh no! <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention. That is what happens. But still, I think he should be like close to death anyway. But we'll see. See how he gets on. Plus, while you guys are here as well, don't forget that um, I'm going to be sort of like moving over to sort of cover a lot more uh, monster. Oh, there <laughs> can you believe that? He was one hit away. I knew that would be the case. Anyway, yeah, I was saying I'm going to be moving over to sort of covering a lot more monster hunter cross as and when news does drop. So obviously, if you guys do want to sort of stay up to date, because I will be covering that the second the sort of game comes out later this year. So yeah, do stay tuned for sort of like the latest news on that one. But anyway, yes, so that was um, the very first quest in the code 10610. I think that's what I think that's the numbers, if I can remember the top of my head. But yes, that is hunting a Yangaruga. So after that, there are obviously gonna be two more quests, which I will be working through in subsequent episodes. So do stay tuned for those ones if you guys do want to see more. Obviously, I do know a lot of you guys have been asking to sort of see some of the let's plays, but also if you guys haven't already and you do want to catch sort of some live Monster Hunter stuff, then obviously I do stream Monster Hunter every Saturday and Sunday. Either way, that is it for this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to hit that like button. And obviously don't forget to subscribe for more Monster Hunter videos. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.